Morning, group. Here's your first uh, Mobility Monday, but on a Tuesday. So here's my usual morning routine. Um, I make coffee. And so I'm just filling it up right now. All right. Good. So everybody makes coffee. A lot of people make coffee. Here's my coffee routine. Just started the coffee maker. So what I usually do is I take the countertop. All right, get rid of the foam. Take the countertop, put my foot on the counter. So I do a high step. All right, I kind of lean into it. Take a couple deep breaths. Take one deep breath maybe, and then I switch. All right, and then I just kind of just do about three or four on each side. It's really good on stretching out the front of the hip here, as well as psoas muscles. So kind of reaching, reaching back, reaching across and doing the same thing on the other side, especially since we're all, probably all doing a lot sitting these days, um, just kind of sitting around. So stretching that out, okay. And then what I'll usually do is I'll start a rotation. So now I'm going to rotate, I'm going to kind of speed up the frequency, speed up the tempo, and of course taking deep breaths. Okay, next up, I'll put my hands on the counter, so it's kind of like, a, like an elevated plank, and I'll lean into it. And as I lean into it, I'll do some scapular rotate or scapular push-ups just pinching my shoulder blades and then rounding my shoulder blades I'll do that five to ten times and then I'll maybe shrug my shoulders and then and then and then um, depress my shoulders so that I'm getting nice tall ears so shrugging tall ears so just getting my shoulder blades to move in all directions, and then I'll just probably add some circles there. Good. Good, 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 good. Good, after that third thing I'll do is I'll do some single leg reaches. So keeping my hands on the countertop, kind of pressing into the countertop, I'll do like a knee tuck, all right? I'll come up onto the, my, the ball of my foot, and then I'll reach this leg back and go into a single leg reach, but I'll keep my hands on, firm on the countertop. Good, after about five of those, I'll switch legs again. As I do that knee tuck, I'll come up onto the ball of my foot. All right, so I'm doing like a heel raise on that standing foot, and then I will kind of release and do a single leg reach and hip hinge on that side. Good, after five there, I'll repeat, but this time I'll add a hand release. So I'll release my hands from the countertop and what that's doing is that's helping to, again, engage more core as well as activating all the muscles in the back now. I'll switch sides. You got about four to five on each side. Good, 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 good. All right. So, still leaning into the countertop. Maybe do some push ups. Maybe three to five slow push ups. And then from there, still keeping leaning into the countertop, I'll do some lower body rotation. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate the hips, kind of step into it. And then finish up with some squats. 
So some really deep, 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 deep squats. So sitting down, shifting side to side, again, using the countertop as an assist. Good. Stand up and stand back down. Stand up, stand back down, and maybe release an arm. Release an arm. And do some arm circles. About five going counterclockwise, five clockwise, and then the other side. And maybe while I'm down here, I'll get the elbows pushing out the knees. All right. Coffee, coffee uh, maker is gurgling. It's telling me it's done. And that means I'm done with my mobility. All right, that's your mobility flow for the week. I'll see you next Monday. Bye.